no. Okay, okay. Hands, that's great. I come through, buddy. My dad was a skater at one point in his life, too. Uh, that's why I really enjoyed it. It's a free sport. You can glide and skate. Make sure your skate tips are tight, though. It's not pressure and it's bulging up. It's half feet's foot. You don't want that. Step up your time, skate. Although hockey is a team sport, there's not a better feeling in the world than taking the puck on a breakaway and going one-on-one -on -one with the goal. Oh, man, hockey is the thing. It's like, catch a wave, dude, and get on the skates. Shock a bra. Shock a bra, dude. Skating. It's my life, man. One thing about me, I play my best when there's an audience. All the time, Me, like an idiot, screaming and yelling at every single other mother. Right, Cora? Do you remember that? We play hockey. Ice hockey. We're here to see Cory Cory Hames, the hamster. Yeah, I'm so. <laughs> like anything else in life, we're always performing. When I play hockey, the rink is my stage. My dad was my first and only coach. It started in the backyard, and soon the little league field. Keep your eye on the ball, my dad used to say. That's exactly what I did. Hello. Sorry, Mike. Perfect.
baseball. It's all about hand-eye coordination. You step up to the plate, concentrate on the ball. I feel the power. Here it comes. I make the connection. Tennis is a great one-on-one -on -one sport. Like hockey and baseball, it takes total concentration. I love the overhead smash and coming to the net, putting the ball away. This guy thinks he's being bored. That's why I It's pretty good. That's why I swear. His name's Becker. Yeah, Becker. That's what it is. Yeah, boys. Yeah. Huh? Oh, you want to touch up? Okay. <laughs>
In Los Angeles, most people hate driving. But when I'm all by myself at the top down, it's relaxing. It allows me to clear my mind. There's so many beautiful sights to see in LA. I have a lot of special places that I go where I can look down at the city. It has an incredible view. It's a great inspiration. Besides, I like to drive. Thank you for joining me. today uh, from the baseball did a little driving my car from the car uh, play some tennis uh, with some guy named Shane he was pretty good um, he was actually very good then took a little dip in my pool me and my duck um, and now I think we're just basically gonna be sitting on the couch and talking about something uh, so tune in next time same place same hang channel Right here. Thank you. Yeah, because you knew that someone was jumping in the pool. Are you guys ready? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Speed. Action. Come on in. What's up? Hello? Well, as far as my fans out there being uh, in, like, help Corey, you know, where's our Corey, and, you know, the whole misconception thing from the people out there, um, you know, they have every right to feel the way they do, and things are great with me. As you see, I'm very in good shape now, and um, on the ball, things are happening. Well, you know, I've had a lot of favorite films I've done, but I think Lost Boys uh, is still there. I had a lot of, there was a big prop room and water guns. It was just a fun atmosphere. The direction in my life right now that I'm trying to, uh, I guess, proceed with um, in the business is gradually um, f from being the little boy from the, from the younger, you know, brother, trying to get to be the older brother or the only brother. Mm -hmm. 
is there someone I look up to? Uh, yeah. Um, I look up to John Ritter, uh, just because he's, uh, I guess, a physical comedian. Um, and I enjoy that. My man through his company, Jack Tripper. <laughs> Furley! trying to get in the in the habit of you know picking up a book learning how to write my feelings down not my feelings but my thoughts about things um and hopefully i'll be moving towards the writing uh and directing uh thing soon Um, as far as being into the musical part of things, um, you know, I'll, I'll slap the headphones on once in a while and dibble dabble at the keyboards, um, you know, make some drum effects, things like that. <laughs> As far as what I really like in today's music, um, I'm into the new, I'm into that Japanese funk, um, that pop funk, you know, I think Prince is the future, a lot of other things. Um, I'm just really into that funky hip pop jam thing. So what, 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 what yes. happened? We were all born with a certain inner rhythm. So what, 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 what happened? Hearing a certain song can remind you of a time or event in your life that is special. Music is an expression that I can't live without. Yeah, yeah! Out of my way, boy! Where's my robot? You know? Play the hell machine, boy. Play what?
lost PA. Really worried. Fashion is a statement. Hey, say something, Corey. Hello. Ba ba ba. Get on you. Hey, boy. Stand by, Corey. Fashion. Corey, you ready? Yeah. Sorry. And action. I'd have to say the way I'm feeling nowadays would probably be intense, powerful. Okay. The way I dress is the way of doing my mood. You are what you wear. I wear something different every day. I think maybe 10 years from now, I'm hopefully gonna be in like Tahiti or something, kicking back like in my huge mansion if everything goes right. It's all up to me. Um, just watching the dolphins and the porpoises and the sharks and the little seahorses and all that fun stuff go by in a whole different country while uh, things are happening back here. Writing. Yeah. The clothes I wear make me feel confident. You don't have to spend a lot of money to create your own style. We're born ready, all of us. What does kissing really mean to me? To me, if you feel when you kiss a girl that certain feeling of all those dolphins like swimming through your bloodstream and you get those good tingles inside your stomach, I don't think there's anything better than kissing because it basically comes to, um, I guess, the word love. I guess that what what um, what it's all about.
yeah, if I had a special kind of a message to say to my fans, um, it'd probably be stay on course. You know, it's a hard, there's so many obstacles in life and just, you know, it might hurt, you might feel great one minute, you know, there's a lot of feelings while you're growing up. There's a lot of questions you have while you're growing up. And if you take things slow, everything will be answered and everything should work out fine as long as you keep in touch with yourself. Probably the day where um, I was, well, if I can live okay. one, if I can live a day over again, which was okay. the question, which day would it be? Okay. Um, Great. I had a stuffed animal that uh, a week before Great. I was born, my mom and dad got me. His name is Sam. He was this little yellow dog. I brought Thank him to you. school with me. He was my security blanket, except he was a okay. little stuffed Sounds animal. Okay, good. Um, I, I did Bye. my, uh, this movie, I think my fourth or fifth movie with Liza Minnelli, A Time to Live, and the maid, I forgot him on my bed where I was sleeping, the maid just took the blankets and my dog and kind of put him in the wash and evaporated or something like that, so I would relive that day, very special animal, very special friend, and uh, I'm really... Isn't that the shirt? We'll get some pins. What kind of question pins. was that? It's Hi, I'm Corey Ham. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Toronto, Canada. I'm currently living with my mother Judy in Los Angeles, California. Uh, my dad, he still lives in Montreal, Canada, and my sister, she still lives in Toronto, Canada, where she's going to school. I've been in the movie business ever since I've been 10 years old. You might have seen me in my first movie debut with Terry Garr, First Born. Or you might have seen me as that adorable nerd, Lucas. Or more recently, uh, I portrayed Diane Wiest's youngest son in the vampire thriller, The Lost Boys. Or of course, as Corey Feldman's best friend in License to Drive. Growing up on movie sets has its ups and its downs. I mean, sure, it's great. You get lots of attention, only three hours a day of school, just makeup and wardrobe, movie premieres, limousines. It all sounds like fun. But when you're 12 or 13 years old, you're very, very impressionable. And I know it's easy to, to get off track. Some of you, like me, don't have both mom and dads to bring you up. I mean, let's face it, it's tough being a kid. So be smart, don't get messed up. Stay in school. Be anybody you want to be. Thanks. I like it. Perfect. Very good. I, 
I think one of the moments in my life that I remember, um, I guess that kind of made me sense that first step towards the film industry, um, was probably in Toronto, Canada, after, um, after I did a little TV uh, series called The Edison Twins. Um, it was funny because I did two commercials after I did a TV series. And I think the second commercial, when I was standing outside in like 20 below zero weather, snow everywhere, a cap on, a newspaper thing, standing in front of a big old abandoned furniture store. And all I had to say was extra, extra furniture bankruptcy, read all about it. And it was so cold. And I think it was a director that said, you're great. And someday, you know. I think you're going to go places. I don't remember his name or anything, but I think that was the first moment of impact for me where I really felt something. Thank you. Is that it? All right, it's a wrap. Hawaii chick. Hello, honey. <laughs> <laughs>